Buddha Jayanti, also recognized as Buddha Purnima, holds great significance in both Nepal and India, commemorating the birth and enlightenment and passing of Lord Buddha. In Nepal, the occasion was once again marked by rituals, prayer gatherings and cultural displays, particularly at Lumbini, the birthplace of Lord Buddha. Meanwhile in India, where the revered Mahabodhi temple stands, numerous devotees flock to Bodhgaya to pay homage, offer prayers and uphold the teachings of Buddha that advocate for peace and unity. Take a look. The Indian Embassy in Kathmandu, in collaboration with the Lumbini Development Trust, organized several events in Lumbini, the birthplace of Buddha, on the occasion of Buddha Jayanti. Buddha Jayanti is observed annually and it typically falls on the full moon day in the month of Vesak. It commemorates Siddharth Gautam's significant contributions to establishing world peace. The event was also widely attended by representatives from various Buddhist sects and monasteries in India and Nepal as well as by the general public. Nepal's Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dehel also graced the occasion as the chief guest. Indian Ambassador to Nepal, Naveen Srivastava and other senior officials were also present. The Nepal PM appreciated the Embassy of India and all the artists for the beautiful painting exhibition and the lively cultural program by artists from India and Nepal who showcased the shared Buddhist heritage and traditions of both the countries. I must also express my admiration for the talented artists who have displayed their creative performance to enliven the evening and captured our utmost attention. We were excited to watch the various expression of their talents earlier today. About our distinguished artist, I would like to say that your creativity and passion has been truly inspiring. We recognize with deep appreciation your important role in preserving and enriching our cultural heritage. Cultural events such as this is sure to play a pivotal role in promoting cultural ties and strengthening bonds of friendship and cooperation between our two countries and between our two peoples. Meanwhile, thousands of devotees and monks throng Lumbini to celebrate 2568th birth anniversary of Gautam Buddha, the light of Asia at his birthplace. Nearly 100 monks with half of them from the International Buddhist Confederation of India held a special prayer next to the pond in the Maya Devi temple premises for world peace. This land is especially blessed as Lord Buddha was born in Lumbini on the day of Vesak Purnima. Nearby, in the town of Bodhgaya, he attained enlightenment and he gave his first sermon in Sarnath, again, not far from here. Finally, he attained Mahaparinirvan in Kushinagar. Lord Buddha's life journey and the dissemination of his teachings and message, starting from his first sermon in Sarnath, form an enduring and unparalleled bond between India and Nepal that adds to our unique relationship and symbolizes our shared heritage and values. In this context, I would also like to recall the visit of Prime Minister Modi, who had visited Lumbini in 2022 on the occasion of Paisak Purnima. He had then spoken about the importance of shared, developing this shared cultural heritage together and enriching it further. During his visit, Prime Minister Modi and the then Prime Minister of Nepal had laid the foundation of International Center for Buddhist Culture and Heritage, which is progressing well thanks to the support provided by Lumbini Development Trust. India too soaked in the festivities of Buddha Jayanti or Vesak Day on the full moon day of May, honoring Buddha's birth, enlightenment and death. Buddhist monks from different countries held a religious rally in the holy town of Gaya, where Buddha is believed to have achieved enlightenment, 
while devotees in Varanasi Sarnath offered prayers at the site where he delivered his first sermon. The devotees wished for world peace and well-being. This sacred observance not only strengthens religious and cultural ties but also promotes universal values of kindness and spiritual growth. So on the second day, we are praying for the world to be peaceful and also all living beings be happy, healthy, peaceful, long life. The holy lands of Lumbini in Nepal and both Kaya Sarnath and Kushinagar in India are the cradles for which the universal teachings of Lord Buddha spread to other parts of the world.